think Nigerian government needs to borrow. Okay. And I'll tell you why. So countries usually uh, don't need to pay back their debts. So America currently has over $30 trillion. They have no plans of paying back. So what you do is you refinance it. When you borrow and it's time for payments, you borrow and also use to pay back. <laughs> so what is important for a country is the cost of servicing your debt. Hmm. That is the issue. So that is what Nigeria is doing poorly. According to the IMF, for last year, I think it was World Bank, right. for last year, 2022, we spent 96% of our revenue at the federal government level to service debt. That is a disaster, right? Waiting mm. to happen. Mm. That is where the problem is. If you can fix the Nigerian environment such that revenues go up, we reduce mismanagement and inefficiency, and the economy is growing, our cost of borrowing will come down significantly. Nigeria should be borrowing at like two, three percent. Mm. In which case, if you're able to do that, you take a lot of debt to develop the economy and create the environment for everybody to 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 prosper mm. so they don't in all the countries you can think of around the world they borrow heavily uae borrowed heavily to mm. develop dubai that people like to go to mm. right it wasn't their mm. money mm. and what what happened after that they got the rest of us to pay back mm. every time you fly there mm. and you pay some. so from an economic point of view there's no problem with borrowing the next government should borrow more, but under favorable circumstances and use it exclusively for productive spending. Anytime you borrow, you are spending the money you make tomorrow today. Hmm. If what you borrow the money for will not make your tomorrow better, you are creating problems. And that's what exactly this government did for the most part of the money that they had borrowed.